welcome back to Mini Lab Rats. Uh, today we're going to be doing something uh, really cool. We're going to be making plastic with milk. Um, and we're only going to be using milk and vinegar. Uh, so this is what you're going to need to get started. I'll actually show you right down here. Here's everything, but here's an actual comprehensive list. So you're going to need whole milk. Uh, you're going to need a, you're going to need like a cup of whole milk uh, for each one that you're going to make. Uh, and you do need it to be whole milk because you need the high fat content of it so that it works well. Uh, you're going to need white vinegar or lemon juice. Uh, it can also work. I am personally going to be using vinegar. Um, and you're going to need four tablespoons per one that you make. Uh, and then you're going to need a bowl, a strainer, a spoon, and a fork, paper towels, and then optional are cookie cutters and food coloring. So the first thing that we're going to need to do, before, uh, like basically to get started, is we're going to have to warm up our milk. Uh, for me, I have this nice little ceramic cup, uh, which was just close by me uh, in the library. So I'm gonna be putting my cup of milk into this cup. I'm gonna go put it in the microwave. You don't want it to be boiling. You just want it to be warm, okay? All right, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, mine actually might be it's a little toasty, uh, but that's okay. Um, and I think mine was in there for altogether about a minute and 20 seconds. That might be a little bit too long because it is, it's not hot, but it's a little warmer than I had wanted it to be. Um, but that's okay. Uh, I would suggest doing it in like 20 second, possibly 30 second intervals, uh, just so that you can uh, actually keep up and make sure that you don't overheat it because every microwave is different. Um, so I'm gonna bring you down so that you can see what I'm going to be doing. All right, so let me get this here. And I hope that you can see well. All right, so basically I separated out my vinegar and I have my fork here. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be stirring as I pour this in. So let's see and watch what happens. stirring for a long time. Do you see how thick it's getting? Do you see that? And it happens almost instantly. So we'll stir for just a little bit longer. Make sure it all gets nice and separated. You see that? Isn't that cool? So what you're seeing here is you're basically seeing the milk uh, start forming clumps as the vinegar is breaking down the proteins in it. Uh, and you're watching the fat, which is this lovely stuff right here. You're watching the fat separate from the water. So what we're going to do now is we are going to take our bowl, take our strainer. Okay. And then do is we are going to then sift this. So you're going to pour your mixture through here so that the fat gets caught in the strainer while the vinegar and the water go right through. Okay. So it looks like that, right? Yeah, and then what we're going to do is we want to get as much of that liquid out of there as we can. We're going to take our spoon, right? And we are going to press on it. What we're 
going to do get our paper towels and we are going to take out our milk. And then we're going to add food coloring. If you would like, you can just leave it as it is. But I wanted to add just a little bit of food coloring. I'm just gonna press on it. To get as much of that liquid out as you can because you don't want a lot in there right And then now what we'll do is we'll take this and I'm going to put it into my unicorn cookie cutter on a nice dry new paper towel. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let mine dry for about 24 to probably 48 hours uh, so that it's nice and hard. Um, and I'll get back to you whenever it's finally done and I'll show you what it looks like. So, fun fact. Uh, I'll actually, well, first, let me, I'll actually explain exactly why this happened. Um, but first off, a fun fact for you. Uh, what I made is not actually plastic. What it is called is Panner. Uh, and Panner is a fresh, non-aged, non-melting soft cheese uh, made by curdling milk uh, with uh, fruit or vegetable acids. Um, since I don't plan on eating this um, and the recipe I used called for it, uh, I used vinegar instead uh, since it's also an acid. But uh, if you're wanting to make it to where you can eat it, you would, um, I mean, vinegar, you can eat things with vinegar. But um, if you wanted to eat it with something a little more perhaps tasty than vinegar, uh, you can use lemon juice. Um, as I suggested in the, uh, the list of the things that you needed. Now, let me show you what happened during the experiment. So in the milk are fat molecules and water molecules. Around the fat molecules is a protein bond called casein. Casein loves both fat and water, which is why you have the smooth liquid that milk looks like because it does have both and casein holds them together. Um, but casein also has a negative charge, which then means that the fat molecules can't touch each other as they're constantly being repelled. But when you add vinegar, um, or a fruit or vegetable acid, the pH of the milk is lowered because the vinegar is reacting, reacting to the casein protein. Uh, and that's a chemical reaction. And so as it breaks that protein down, it produces carbon dioxide or CO2, which is what lo uh, lowers the overall pH of the milk. And so as the vinegar breaks down the protein bonds uh, in the casein, it actually begins to unwind from around the fat molecules and meaning that it also loses its ability to attract the water in the milk as well as repel the other fat molecules from each other. Uh, this then makes the fat in the milk able to stick together uh, creating the fat clumps you saw form whenever I poured the vinegar in which are curds. How crazy is that? 
So now I do still have to wait a while. Uh, so I'll be back in, well, more like, you know, a second for you, but I'll be back in about 24 to 48 hours to show you exactly what happens after it's set. So be back. go check on the panner. Paneer? Honestly, I don't really know how to say it. So here we go. All right, look at that. So this is it. I actually, I came in here earlier and I was messing with it. Look. So it's completely dried out both on top and front side now after 48 hours of sitting and drying. So it's done. It's nice. Like it's actually not super hard. Like it's not crunchy. Um, looks like it is a little mushy, kind of a little soft on the very inside. So probably if you let it sit even further, it'd dry out even more. Um, but isn't that cool? That's super fun. I really like that. I like how that turned out. Uh, so that's super easy to do. You can do it at home. Um, as I, you know, with just milk and vinegar. Um, let me put you up there real quick. Uh, and like, just really easy to do. Uh, you can do it at home. Uh, and if you do do it at home and you make some cool shapes and cool colors and things like that, let us see. We would love to see what you guys are doing. Um, cause I mean, that's pretty fun. At least I think so. So if you do do it, tag us, let us know. We would love to see it as I said. Uh, and that's all I have for you this week. And as always, I'll see you guys next month, okay? All right, bye.